What up, people? So, I'm already heading back to Texas, and I'm exhausted. Uh, I started working on the, uh, the house up here in Oklahoma. I didn't get as much done as I wanted, but it's a start, and that's uh, what matters for me. It just gives me motivated to come back and uh, keep on keeping on. Uh, I decided, actually this morning, Jason and I talked, it'd be best if I left the uh, riding lawnmower down in Texas uh, so that I can uh, keep the yard and stuff mowed real nice down there so when people come look at the property, it'll look a lot better. Plus, it'll free up a lot of space in the uh, truck and trailer so I can bring other stuff up. Um, I am going to bring the four-wheeler up and just a whole bunch of other stuff that I've mentioned in other videos. But it's been a, a busy week, like I said, and it's just going to get busier. And it's probably, right now it's about 9 o'clock, and I got about five hours till I get home. So, uh, a long drive. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a busy week. I'll be down there in Texas. Uh, I'm going to rest the rest of today when I get home. Uh, enjoy some time with all the animals and then I'm gonna pack up on Wednesday and then I'm gonna drive back up here Thursday and I was talking to Jason and I think this next trip up here I'm gonna stay just a, an extra day uh, maybe two days or so we're gonna go out to the off-grid property pick up uh, possibly the sawmill uh, there's a I believe it's a 10 foot or a 12 foot gate that we're gonna use for the animal pen over here at the shoot dang ranch and then also a uh, water tote that he has out there. I believe it's a 300 gallon. I could be wrong on that, which I probably am. But uh, we're gonna get the big bulky items from over there and bring them out to Shoot Dang Ranch and uh, try to get some stuff set up for the animals. I know uh, Jason's been looking online here in the Oklahoma area for water totes. Uh, so if you know anybody that's local that uh, wants to hook us up with some, by all means, comment down below. Uh, but I think we're wanting to do, uh, I think maybe three or four of those water totes and stack them up about too high and have some kind of a rain system or rain catchment, uh, rain gutters on the shop itself and uh, use that to help collect rainwater into those so we can use that water to, to go to the animals. And then uh, Jason also bought a, some kind of pump. Uh, he was trying to explain it to me, but I think he's gonna show it in one of his upcoming videos. Uh, where he's going to be able to pump up water from the creek and we could pump that into some kind of barrel or something and use that for uh, water as well until we actually get uh, well water out there which is an, another thing that he's looking into here soon we got to figure out pricing on that i know some places wells are pretty expensive to put in um, our buddy over there at uh, oh i forgot what it's called where we got the tractor from tracy he lives I think about an hour away from Shoot Dang Ranch, and he, I think he said that he got a well put in for around $3,000. They didn't have to go too deep. So that's what we're hoping that uh, whenever they come out and check it out and give us a quote and stuff and try to figure everything out, that it's not gonna be too expensive. But I think uh, something that's high on our priority list right now uh, is rock. Uh, we do understand that you need to have rock on a driveway. Um, I don't. I don't think people, I think people kind of get ahead of themselves commenting on some of the videos and <laughs> it really makes me shake my head when I read some of the comments where they're like, you need to put some rock out there. You're going to get stuck or why are you doing a driveway with dirt? It's going to be muddy. And I'm like, I know, like we know this, we're not dumb, but uh, some of y'all might think we're dumb and hey, we might be, but uh, Jason's just using the uh, box blade on the tractor just to smooth out the roadways out there. Uh, there's a lot of little dips and hills and stuff, and that's what he was doing, especially like on my area uh, where he was putting in the driveway. It needs to be leveled out more, and then we'll go back in and put some rock down. Uh, we were talking to our dad yesterday. Let me move this shade this way. Ugh. It's kind of dark, I think, but uh, we were talking to our dad yesterday, and he was saying, don't get caliche rock, which it's like the white rock that you see like all over ranches and stuff. Uh, there's some people who don't know what caliche rock is, but uh, we're gonna get normal, like good rock and put that down. I know it's gonna be pricey. Uh, just to give you an idea, I got on Google Maps and I mapped out from the road up to where the shop is and it's right around half a mile. And I know that uh, when they come out and dump rocks that that rock only gets spread out so much. Uh, let me move this up. But uh, 
Yeah, I know it's gonna be very expensive. I told Jason that uh, I think our next paycheck for YouTube, we need to both, and Danielle as well, uh, just pitch in and just bike the bullet and get the rock out there. We could either have the the dump trucks come out and just uh, dump it in a big pile, or I know some of them will go out there and just raise the back end of the truck and just kind of drive forward and it just smooths it out a little bit for us, which is probably what we'll end up doing. But to save cost on rock, we may not put it at the very beginning of the entrance at Shooting Ranch because the first, I'd say maybe, a, I don't know, eighth of a mile or a fourth of a mile, quarter mile, uh, already has, it's very rocky there. So uh, I'm able to drive my car on it. Danielle could drive her car already. It's just once we get to closer to where I'm putting my house, that's where uh, the, the rock mainly ends and it starts where whoever had that property before the oil field workers stuff, they just started driving through the open field and it kind of just made a path and that's what we've been following on. So uh, we are gonna get rock out there and it's gonna be expensive. Uh, I think Jason was looking at uh, on Facebook market and Craigslist and stuff like that. And I think it was about $400 for a load of rock. And that sounds about right because when I, at my place in Texas, when I got rock put out there, I, I went with Caliche Rock or like road base and it was about $300 at the time and with inflation, everything's going up. I'm assuming that uh, it's more expensive for them to take to deliver stuff. It's also more expensive for the rock itself. So uh, when he said $400 or 450, it, uh, it makes sense that that's what they would probably be charging. So um, I got an idea on how far a load of rock can go just based off of getting it dumped on my property before. And uh, I'm trying to calculate it, and I think it's going to be several thousand dollars. And uh, I'm not looking forward to dropping that kind of cash for a uh, for rock for a driveway, but it's very much needed. And uh, after being out there this uh, last couple of days, I completely understand, and I don't think other people understand exactly how muddy it is out there. Um, we were having issues getting the truck. The whole side of Jason's truck is covered in mud right now. Even on the inside, I guess he had his door open trying to see and it was slinging mud up in here. But uh, yeah, it's it's definitely something we have to do and I'm totally fine with it. Uh, like I said, it's, it's much needed and uh, it'll make all of our lives a lot easier not having to worry about getting stuck out there. And uh, it may set us back a little bit from having to do our actual build, but in reality, it's gotta get done, so it is what it is, but um, I am 100% sore all over. My back is aching and my shoulders are aching. Um, you'll see my video on my main channel on Wednesday. I'll probably post it about three o'clock. I'll already be back in Texas, so uh, I'll try to keep you guys updated on this channel, which uh, thank you for all the new people that have been subscribing. I think I'm getting closer to 9,000 subscribers on this channel, which is crazy. Um, but I'll already be in Texas and then you'll watch the main channel and I'll basically be back in Oklahoma, which was already filmed before. But like I said, I'll be back here in, on Thursday. So uh, it's a lot of going back and forth and uh, it's just stuff that needs to be done. And I have the uh, truck, as you can see, I'm in the truck and I have the trailer that I'm pulling right now. Some people were saying to get a U-Haul that it'd be a lot cheaper, but you got to consider that it's probably, it's close to 300 miles. I think it was 289 uh, one way. So it's a 99 cents a mile. Plus you have to pay for the actual truck itself, which uh, the bigger the truck, the more it is. So I just told Jason, let me drop my car up there. Uh, him and Danielle were both blown away with how much stuff I actually fit in my car. It, basically build up the back seat of the truck and the entire bed of the truck. That's how much stuff I was able to fit in the car. And I said, uh, just imagine me with a truckload of stuff and a trailer load of stuff, how much stuff I can actually get. So I'm hoping with this trip, I can get everything that I have that's outside, uh, all the outdoor stuff brought up in one trip. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to leave the lawnmower there. So that'll free up a lot of space just with that. So, um, I'm very excited. I, had a good deal of satisfaction doing the manual labor that I did yesterday out at the property. So uh, once again, I explained we don't we don't have a certain attachment for the tractor at the moment, and that's why I did this by hand. So 
Uh, you guys will just have to watch it and then comment down below and let me know what you guys think of it. I'm very excited. We walked the back part of uh, what would be considered my backyard over there. And uh, I really hadn't walked a lot of that before. And I was blown away with how cool it is back there. I got a ton of ideas. Uh, I think about getting a like a fire pit area and pushing it way back off into the woods, uh, going in there with the tractor and clearing stuff out. And uh, it's, it's very exciting. I have all solar lights so I can hang up solar lights throughout the woods. And uh, I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. Uh, Danielle and Jason are very excited too with, uh, with the ideas that we were coming up with and all that kind of stuff. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I'm just gonna try to upload it as I go back towards Texas. So I don't know when it'll be uploaded, but uh, once again, it's about 9.30 right now. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy the rest of my trip. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace, bye people.